Google CEO Sundar Pichai sits at the helm of a company with a mission of making the world's information universally accessible and useful. Google's got some pretty high standards, but critics inside and outside Google are beginning to challenge its reputation for being a force for good. China. The country has detained perhaps a million Uyghurs, a largely Muslim ethnic minority. It's also known for its extensive censorship of the internet, the so-called Great Firewall. But Google seems to want to climb over that wall. And given that China has about 800 million internet users, it's not hard to see why. Google is building a censored search engine for the Chinese market. So that's what we've built internally. You know, if Google were to operate in China, what would it look like? You know, what queries will we be able to serve? It turns out we'll be able to serve well over 99% of the queries. And there are many, many areas where we would Interested in human rights, student protests, or Tiananmen Square? The search engine dubbed Project Dragonfly won't help you learn more. China has taken a U.S. Vice President Mike Pence blasted Project Dragonfly during a recent speech. Today, China has built an unparalleled surveillance state, and it's growing more expansive and intrusive, often with the help of U.S. technology. Google should immediately end development of the Dragonfly app that will strengthen the Communist Party's censorship and compromise the privacy of Chinese customers. And the company's employees are pushing back, too. Hundreds have signed a public letter demanding the company drop the effort. Earlier this year, Google backed away from a contract to help the U.S. Department of Defense analyze drone footage using artificial intelligence technology. That time, thousands of Google employees signed a letter protesting the program known as Project Maven. Whether Google bows to pressure and decides to drop Project Dragonfly remains to be seen. This time, the potential rewards of tapping the huge Chinese market may just be too enticing.